hey, what's up? Julie Burke coming to you live from my beautiful home here in Chicago. I just wanted to hop on and talk about the rise of a digital mompreneur. Uh, why? Well, because I myself am a digital entrepreneur, mompreneur, um, all this stuff. I am actually a multiple income stream queen. I'm always preaching multiple income streams. I will share my story with you real quick, uh, but I wanted to give it a minute and let you guys hop on. Let me know where you're tuning in from, please. Um, and I'm going to be walking you through my five, 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 five biggest success tips for you in helping you to grow your business. So as you're tuning on, make sure you say hello. Let me, uh, you know what, let me check. Um, okay. Hey, 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 what's up? Okay. I, I'm starting to now see some comments, um, come in. What's up? Say hello. I'm going to actually just really get into the training today. So if you have any questions throughout this training and I don't get to them, please know I will reach out to you when I'm done. Uh, but I want to respect your time. I want to respect my time. And uh, I do have a very special announcement at the end, so make sure you stay tuned. Okay, just give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me. Just throw me some hearts, give me a thumbs up. Let me know where you're tuning in from. If you're on the replay, put hashtag replay. I'm really excited to be with you guys. Just got home from Colorado yesterday, went out with the family, very first time in Colorado. It was beautiful. Uh, went to visit my friend Danelle. Um, now business partner, Dan Danelle Delgado. If you guys know Danelle, she's incredible. And uh, we created a company which is called MomStrong. And I'm going to be sharing more about that um, at the end of this video, this training. But right now, I want, I want you to know I'm talking to the mompreneur, the woman that is trying to do it all. Okay, can I just get like a little like, hello, that's me trying to do it all. A woman that is trying to keep up with all the changes and all of the challenges of building an online business. Um, a woman who has a life outside her business um, that she needs to be present for, obviously, because we're moms, but sometimes feels very torn, right? Very out of balance. Um, so I'm talking to you, and a woman that must be more efficient with her time and yet gets overwhelmed by all the stuff. If Is this you? Okay, so I'm asking you, is this you? Right now, there is no time greater to build a business online. I've learned a ton about digiting, digital marketing, about sales, about email marketing, about copywriting. Um, if you don't know who, know who I am, very, very quickly, um, I've been a, a top earner in network marketing. I started network marketing in 2012 and um, I actually was with, I thought, my forever home until two years ago. You know, life happens, things happen. And I decided to transition out of that company, move into a new company, but I was already building an online brand, an online presence. I also started a training company, which is my Create Success with Julie brand. And started working um, and doing, um, creating digital products, digital courses, coaching, and things like that. So I transitioned out of one company, went into a new company, and went to the, the top of that company in a year. However, if you know my story, I love network marketing, but I also believe in having multiple income streams. Um, you don't own your company. End of story. I love my company. I love my team but we don't own it, okay? So I'm always talking about making sure you have multiple income streams and learning digital marketing, learning social selling, learning how to create an irresistible brand and an irresistible offer, all of that, you guys. It's so key, but yet there's so many moving parts if you're really wanting to understand um, this whole on, online digital world, right? And the reason we do this is we want to have systems and processes set up so we can build our business from anywhere, 
right? Like how amazing is that? I could build my business from a beach if I wanted to, even though I really don't want to build, or I really don't want to use a laptop at the beach to tell you the truth because sand gets all on my laptop, but I could build my business from my phone, right? Like how amazing is that, that we have this technology to be able to connect us all over the world um, in an instant, right? So I'm talking, I guess, to the woman that has pushed herself aside um, for her dreams because it doesn't have to be that way. Like having an online digital business really should be not overwhelming, um, even though I have been there. And that's why I'm talking to you today about, I'm gonna give you my five success tips, okay? So hang tight. Um, you shouldn't push your dreams aside because the whole reason you got started in this business is because you have the dream to bring your husband home or to not have to take your kids to daycare anymore, okay? Or for yourself to get out of your nine to five. Whatever your dream is, I want you to understand it's closer than what you think, it's closer than you imagine. It just takes some shifts, maybe in perspective, in your mindset, in what you're doing. There's just gonna be some shifts that you might need to make, okay? Um, but just know that you are worth it, you are worth your dreams, and I don't want you to push yourself aside. I lived all of 2017 by pushing myself aside and literally became not a mompreneur who's working um, their business maybe a couple hours and then balancing life and business and their kids and all of the crazy, but I literally became a solopreneur where I was working 10 hours a day, day in and day out in my office because I'm a creative, I'm a visionary. I wasn't connected to, to, to groups of people to set me on the straight path to say, Julie, you don't have to do all of this. You could create simple funnels. You could create simple offers. You don't have to create all of this because I ended up destroying myself. I ended up putting myself into the ground. I ended up hustling my way into pure burnout. And I don't want the same for you, okay? So if I had to start all over again, I, here are my five tips, okay? I've been now in the online space for three years, building an online brand. I've coached um, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people through my videos, through my trainings, through my courses, through network marketing, through all of it, okay? And so when I sat down, I thought about it and I just jotted down some notes. I, I took myself back and I said, okay, how can I help these women? How can I help mompreneurs? And here's how. So number one, what I have is stop victimizing yourself. I'm going to say this again. You might be like, oh my God, really? Like that's her number one? Yes. Stop victimizing yourself. And what does that mean? Well, we fall victim to our circumstances. We self-sabotage. We sometimes believe that we are not worthy of our dreams. And it's all BS, okay? All of it. Um, I want you to actually keep your attention, attention on your intentions. So you have to set your intention every single day for yourself, for your legacy, for your business, for your future, okay? This is super freaking important that most people do not do because we all fall victim. I self-sabotaged myself for so long. It was like living in this bubble. I can't, I, I really can't explain it. Um, and so one of the most important things that you could do for your business is, is feed your soul. It's to develop your mindset. It's to develop your, yourself and sharpen your skill sets and, and whatever it is that you want to learn, wherever you want to take your business, right? Because I know I'm throwing a lot at you. I've, I've done a lot. I've done network marketing, affiliate marketing, courses, coaching. I'm going to talk to you about that in a second. Um, but day in and day out, you have to fuel your soul because you're living in the hustle, probably, with your children and the crazy. You have sporting events. you got to get them off to school, right? We're now back to school. We're in that uh, back to school stage, but yet... You have this limited window to work. So you have to prioritize. 
And I either like to do that on a Sunday for the whole week or actually sometimes the night before you want to prioritize for your next day. And so you have to have your, um, you first. How are you going to feed yourself every single day to sharpen your mindset? You have to have that. There's some amazing podcasts. Um, there's great things on Spotify that I listen to um, that have really quick personal development um, tips. I, I'll try and I'll actually post that in the comments when I get off. <clears throat> but one of the main things is please, please stop falling victim to your circumstances. Stop making excuses, right? Um, you might have somebody not at home supporting your dream, but know that you are freaking worth it. And sometimes we just, it's not necessarily proving it to them or proving it to the outside world. You should never have to prove anything to anybody, but yourself. Okay. All right. Number two, choose your path. Choose your path. Now, you're hearing my story, but I didn't start out in all of these different areas. Okay. I became a multipreneur. I started in network marketing. I started in network marketing and that sharpened me to then stepping like the stepping stone into becoming an entrepreneur, right? And going off and creating my own brand. You might just be getting started in network marketing. Awesome. Awesome. Do you know 80% of the women out there in this world make six figures through network marketing. So congratulations to you. Now don't quit. No, you need to stay. You need to train. You need to get visible. You need to spread the good word. You need to create curiosity. Like I could go on and on to forever about this. I have so many courses that I've created around network marketing um, that I will soon be making a uh, free to the public. Yes. Online Freedom Academy. So stay tuned, right? But I want to just give away all this information for network marketers, but I'm not just talking about that. Like you could be sitting there and saying, okay, I could do network marketing because it's, it's quick and it's easy. You guys, I used to own a franchise. <laughs> Let me tell you the franchise world being a business owner is exhausting traditional business. So I started in network marketing, but then I developed into creating digital products. There are some people out there that love the idea to create and package up their knowledge in courses to be able to um, sell out there and create passive income, right? And maybe it's coaching. Maybe you love working with people, okay? You love having that insight and that deeper relationship. I started with one-to-one -one, uh, coaching, which then developed more into mentorship than coaching, right? And I started with one-to-one -one, and then that went off to group. And to tell you the truth, I love both, okay? Um, maybe your thing is going to be digital marketing, affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is amazing. My first year in affiliate marketing, I created multiple six figures. I had no clue what the hell I was doing, nothing. I just knew that I loved the product and I shared it with my social platforms and my network. and, and People wanted it. So, you know, whatever it is for you, choose a path. Don't choose all five at once or six at once or, you know, there's also e-commerce. I mean, you guys, I could go on and on. Honestly, do some research. If you're getting, if you're a mompreneur and you're like, I love this idea of building a home-based business, I don't know where to start. Google. Google is my best friend and it's your best friend too, okay? So just Google. All right, number three. You want to reverse engineer. And what do I mean by that? Reverse engineer, a lot of it is where do you want to be? What is your goal? Like it's from going to point A to point Z, but you start Z and go and work yourself backwards. So you want a vision cast. And part of that is visualization, which is part of the reverse engineering. I'm telling you this right now. So vision cast, goal set, where do you want to be? Um, and then work backwards. So let me tell you a little mistake that I made. Um, and again, it's all, it's all about learning. Like it's all about learning. So I shouldn't, you don't even want to call it mistakes or failure. It's, it's part of your growth. Okay. So when I started saying, I want to create products, I want, I, I want, like I now done very well in network marketing. Um, 
I want to share what I've learned. And this was back in 2016 is when I created my first course. And it was called Five Steps to Multiple Six Figures. It was my DMO. It was my daily method of operation. Um, and that was my first course, which I went into another and another and another and another. You guys, in the beginning, what I was doing is I was just creating products and then selling them. Instead of going and actually reversing that and first pulling my audience and seeing what they're struggling with, seeing what they want, because oftentimes what we think that people want, they don't really need or want. Pulling them and then actually selling the course. I know it sounds asinine, but you sell the course or the product, okay, and then you create it after you sell it. And I know it makes people think about like that want to create digital courses like sweat. And I get that because it made me like almost hyperventilate, but it's so true. How do you know what your audience needs unless you ask them, right? And then you go and sell it and then you can worry about creating it. And you could create a course very, very easily. You guys, I, I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, but you want to reverse engineer. Let's say you want to, you're a network marketing, okay? Let's say it's not a course. Let's say you're in network marketing, okay? You have to figure out what your goal is for that month. How much do you need to make? If it's $1,000 and you know to make $1,000 in that month, you need to enroll five people on X pack, okay? You need to reverse that. You need to say, okay, here is the end of my 30 days. That's where I need to be, okay? And then you need to backtrack. What do I need to do? How many... If you're doing calls, how many calls do I need to make a day? How many new people do I need to get in my sphere? How many people do I need to reach out to and connect with, right? How many Facebook Lives do I need to do? And then create the, the content that is going to lead your audience to connecting with you to then talking more about the business opportunity or your product. That is reverse engineering, guys, okay? Most people don't do this, right? So number four, four, and it, you guys, uh, if someone could please just drop in here, like number one, stop victimizing yourself, like kind of just highlighting that be awesome Two, choose your path. Three, reverse engineer. Okay. Four, get social, get social through collaborating. Okay. Collaboration is one of the most beautiful things in the world. And this is how I built my brand and my business collaborating. Okay. Getting visible, getting social. What does that mean? All right. You want to get visible through creating content, right? Content is super, super key for building your brand. Um, what is your passion? W what is the end result? This goes back to reverse engineering. You don't want to talk about your business all the time. You want to talk about you. People don't join your business. People don't join your company. They join you, right? So you want to figure out, okay, where am I, what are my social platforms I'm going to be sticking to? One or two. You guys, I mastered Facebook. I, I'm dabbling. I'm starting to get on Instagram. I still like am working on figuring out that platform. Um, but I also have a YouTube channel, right? I do have a Pinterest channel, but I'm not all over the place. I really focus on right now two things, and that is doing Facebook Lives, posting on Facebook, building my network on Facebook. Building relationships on base. I like relationships. So for me, Instagram is not a relationship platform. For me, I feel like Instagram is, is a lot of people on Instagram are very fake. Um, I'm going to be honest. Um, maybe not obviously the people and the brands that you follow, but there's a lot of people on there that like to have these fake profiles. And for me, I, I, I can't, I just can't like, I, I'm, I'm like, yes, we're in this Instagram era, get into Instagram. I just can't. Like, for me, I love Facebook because I am building relationship with other business owners and other entrepreneurs and moms. And I love it. And then we have our Facebook groups, right? And you're building relationships in there. Don't ever sell in groups. Build the relationships. You build and you collaborate. Collaborate. Okay, so that is going to be key interview one another, get to know each other's businesses. I honestly, I will friend, I will look at someone's profile and I'll say, okay, what does she do? Now I'm friends with a lot of coaches. Okay. But 
I'm friends with like healers and spiritual coaches and money mindset coaches and um, branding coaches and all these like great different co life coaches, right? That we can bring um, value to one another's audiences. And I'll usually run this in an interview style. Now I used to do the interview style and I kind of got away from it. Now I'm, I'm, go, I'm going back because I loved, I love giving people not notoriety. I love hel helping others build their businesses. And I love interview style because it was fun. Like we just had a really good time and yet brought amazing value to the audience, okay? So whatever it is for you, Figure out how you could partner up and collaborate, all right? You just heard me. I just collaborated with Danelle Delgado. We actually collaborated a little bit more than a true collaboration because we just literally co-founded a company together called MomStrong. If you go to momstrongglobal.com and get started, I'll talk to you about that in a second, what it, what it actually is. But look, we collaborated and actually built a company together. We had it trademarked together. And it's a beautiful thing and we are, we just got started and yet we're having so much fun and we're connecting with moms and we want to, to raise moms up and to shine the light on them and help them to collaborate with one another, okay? So you have to get social, pick one to two max platforms and build it strong, okay? Build it strong. Again, you heard me, mine is Facebook and I have a fan page community, okay? Um, all right, I my thing's going in and out, so I'm just gonna really get to the end here, all right? So number five, five, five. All right. All right, I think I, hopefully, wait, I need to make sure I'm off Wi-Fi, guys. All right, are you guys still with me? Okay. All right, I gotta hurry this up because I'm starting to have Wi-Fi issues. Um, five. Five, commit. Commit to yourself. Commit to your growth. Commit to getting better. Commit to making mistakes. Commit to failures. Um, commit to having some things go wrong. Um, commit to winning. Commit to mastery. And most importantly, like I said, commit to you. You have to commit to you and nobody else. There you have it, my five tips, and I'm gonna leave you with this. If you wanna grow, prosper, cash in by helping other humans, create more impact, change lives, you need to evolve, not only as a business owner, but also as a woman, a mother, a wife, and grow alongside your business in all the key areas, then I want you to be a part of MomStrong right now. This is a place where you're gonna receive the ultimate mompreneur business box month after month delivered to your door, plus a community of like-minded mom bosses from around the world. Don't wait. Get in now. MomStrongGlobal.com. See you soon. Bye.